Hello guys, today I'll be sharpening my Honda mower blade right here. It's getting a little bit too dull here. This has a double blade. I want to get a much more cleaner cut. Just the second one is dull, the top one is still pretty sharp. So. I never changed this belt before and I had this mower for a long time. I don't know if I should change this belt. Not this loose like this. Let me know if um, the belt is this old, um, any performance loss. But I have never changed it before. It's a uh, rear, I think rear wheel drive uh, mower. So we're gonna break this two bolt loose. Um, adjustable nut here from Tamron. Basically, you can um, adjust to whichever side nut you want, and it come with this adapter as well. So we're gonna test this out today. A Milwaukee uh, driver. I have a Dewalt one as well, but uh, I don't like the Dewalt one. That you cannot. It's really hard to control the speed uh, on the Dewalt one. But this one you can control the speed much easier than the Dewalt. That's why I like Milwaukee more. Um, that you can. Uh, control the speed but uh, the wall like you know you would you press it instantly like, really fast so I didn't like it all right so let's try put this on and remove this bolt that's correct so just gonna backward here been a while so the boat is really tight I cannot break it uh, with my Milwaukee I'm gonna use uh, this air cat uh, air gun and a 14 millimeter socket and a um, half inch to a uh, 3.8 adapter And this should do it. You can find this impact gun in my video description. Here. Flip this.
and basically clip on one side. And use my earphone protector. You can find a link in my video description. It's the Walker Razor. Um, one I picked up uh, a while back at uh, Sport Academy. Testing the sharpness. This time of the day, I'm getting a lot of mosquito bites, so I got spray. Alright, this side is done. I'm going to turn it around here. And, uh, this grip uh, is uh, a bit pricey, but it's well worth it. Put on the second play.
Done with this. Now we can put this back together. For tidying it back, I'm just gonna use my Milwaukee. Chop now. You know, this mower I have uh, probably almost 10 years now. This, um, this is the model right here. But um, I wish I would have got the four wheel drive and uh, 100, 190 cc one this one is a 160 cc so it's not great uh, not that strong if you want to cut uh, low so now I'm going to cut my grass I need to uh, turn on the, the gas because um, I turn off the gas earlier so that way when you flip it over uh, the gas doesn't spill all over now I need to add some gas before I cut my grass all right I'm gonna cut this part of the grass first here let's see how this looks here Sweet tall. I think uh, my mower probably cut better if it's uh, a little bit stronger. That's why it's sharp, but um, it's still um, not strong enough to make a clean cut. 
to buy cut low maybe I raise it up a little bit more than it it cut cleaner because uh, I kind of try to cut shorter uh, on the um, basically level two here there's two more level I can go down but I can never uh, go down to that level that's the, the lowest I can cut on this one uh, but usually I, I go one one more step up but um, so far it cuts much better this is what I use for my um, blower got three battery one six amp and the other one is uh, four amp hour I got one more four amp hour battery inside as for the edger, I got this um, edger. Uh, it's a brick and station drawing build for horsepower, 158cc. I got this from a garage sale uh, for like 20 bucks. And um, all it, I think, um, all it needs is the uh, the blade and the, um, the new cable. Um, this is my wheat eater, uh, Husqvar, and I've got this bar on uh, Tamu. I also have this uh, Trimmer Plus uh, attachment for my uh, wheat eater uh, to uh, blow. Uh, this works much better because it's low on the ground, so this works pretty well.